Hey, 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 Pisces, this is your sacred scribe here, ready to do your Monday, January 13th to the 14th, Intuitive Love Tarot Read. This is for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Jupiter, and North Node. This will not resonate with everybody, but hopefully it will with you today. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe right down below before you leave. I do appreciate it, and thank you for all of your like, shares, and subscriptions. Okay, please also note that energy and time are fluid, so feel free to switch up the roles as you deem necessary, and know that this can be past, present, or future. Okay, and energy for the next six months is going to be strong, so don't forget to, um, not sure if your reading's up, but I'll be doing more today for the mid-month, so check that out. Okay, Pisces, we have the High Priestess, we have the Six of Pentacles, and the Queen of Pentacles. Let me get a message from Spirit, and then we will begin. Place abundant effort in knowing yourself, Pisces. Getting to know yourself. Reach for the stars. I love that message. Begin to exhibit the traits that you know exist within you. And that has to do with getting to know yourself. Okay, Pisces. Oh. Okay. Let me see here. Yeah, that's there's something hidden within you, Pisces, that will be revealed. But you have to go seek the knowledge. You have to go seek this this inner knowing. It's like your higher self wants you to bring something out. And I believe it is this Queen of Pentacles. Now, the Queen of Pentacles is Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. But it's right the Queen of Pentacles is right below the Empress in my eyes, right? As far as ranking of the Queens, she's concerned with building, appreciating, nurturing. She nurtures with the tangible stuff, right? But she knows how to build, how to make things grow, and she takes her time. So I'm feeling take your time in really getting to know yourself and knowing your dreams and then believing that you can reach for the stars, right? Because you can achieve it. You've got to bring this out of you and then go towards your passion, go towards what you love with this eight of pentacles, okay? This will actually rebalance you out. This is your balance point, knowing this inner you this, I'm feeling, will also bring about love once you're in that zone. Okay. All right. Clarify. Okay. Yeah. The nine of cups is a wish and a dream come true. This is why I say, or they're telling you, reach for the stars because your wishes will come true, both in love and career, I'm feeling. And this will be your balance point when you've got love and career. Okay, this is, yeah, hit the second wish card, the star card, right? This is healing. This is the card of Aquarius. You could be meeting an Aquarius or with an Aquarius. Don't have to be, but this is healing and part of I, I feel knowing yourself and really looking within, you will be able to heal. Healing will come with this. Something about this is going to be healing for you. Okay? You're going to gain more confidence within yourself as well. Okay? Confidence in knowing that 
this love will come as soon as you're on your path. Clarify what's hidden. Clarify this high priestess. You must listen to your intuition as well. Ace of Cups, Four of Swords, and Seven of Cups. Yeah, what's hidden is this love for yourself and so many things that you could become. And this is why you need to look within and know yourself because you have, you know, the world before you, right? So with all these options in front of you, what is your true desire? What is your true passion? Okay. Once you know that and begin to understand that, okay, this love for yourself, once you start going forward, this ace of cups, this loving yourself is going and really taking the time, right? Piecing out to do this. This will bring about an abundance of love coming toward you. Clarify this queen of uh, pentacles six of wands and the two of wands. Yes, you've got the whole world in your hands here. Okay, with this two of wands, you're going to figure out your direction and you're going to be victorious with this card of Leo here. You may even be in the spotlight, you may be seen for something because this is about being seen, having accolades. Let me see if there's anybody coming towards you. Who will be coming towards Pisces in love once this is occurring? Five of Wands and Knight of Wands. There's going to be competition for you. Be careful of the players. Page of Swords. People are going to, yeah, you may be in the spotlight for something because I, I feel like people are going to be looking at you online or something. Wow. Three of Wands, the Empress, the Tower. Wow. Okay. Yeah, even people from a distance. So I'm feeling like this may have something to do with you being in the spotlight on the internet, online, somehow. But you're in the spotlight. And they're going to see you growing. They're going to see you expanding. So this is going to shock even you how much you're expanding. Players who are only out for one thing. I mean, if that's your thing and that's what you want, then you're going to have your choice of them but they're going to be competing for you they're going to be competing for you this is a taurus or a libra what's your advice for pisces regarding these lovers that are coming forward seven of wands stand up for what you believe in. know your worth here i'm feeling also with this and make sure you're emotionally balanced okay and listen to your intuition on this because like i said beware of these players okay because they're going to come they're going to come out of the woodwork all right pisces all right i hope you resonated with that reading please drop a like below share and subscribe if you already haven't you have yourself a fabulous day and i will talk to you tomorrow